What's up guys? Let's get started. We're going to build this out of four by quarter inch flat bar. I made the two white marks there. That's where I need to make two 90 degree bends, essentially making this a U-shaped piece of steel. After I get it bent up, I got to cut out two tabs. I'm going to bring those over to the table and with my center punch I'll make two marks where I need to drill my two 3 8 holes. I went ahead and stacked up my tabs in my vise and after I oil them up I can get drilling. After I get my holes drilled I'll take my two pieces back over to the table and I gotta make these um, four inch lines basically in the middle that's going to tell me where I'm going to join these up to the u-shaped piece that I bent up before. Get everything clamped down and look something like this. After everything's all straight I can go ahead and weld them together. So far this is what we got, but we're not done yet. I'm going to take some expanded metal and weld on the top. The purpose of this will be to keep any animals from sticking their nose down in there and messing with the float. So I'll just go ahead and tack this all around the edges, and then I'll come back later with the grinder and cut off the excess expanded metal. With that out of the way, I can come back with the flap wheel and I'm just trying to knock down any sharp edges or anything where an animal might be able to cut itself or poke its nose or anything like that. And here we have it. This thing's ready to go. Um, just throw it in the truck and head on down to the ramp so we can put it on. First thing we got to do here is weld a couple of mounting brackets to the corral fence. So I'm using some half inch thick flat bar for this. It ought to be plenty strong enough for anything that it might see. All right, we're starting to lose daylight out here, but the last thing I have to do is just drill some holes through this flat bar and I can bolt the float guard on there. And I was gonna show you a little trick. I've got 3 8 holes in the float guard, so naturally I'll have to drill some 3 8 holes in this thick half inch steel. You could just try to hog through with a 3 8 bit, but that'd be pretty rough on the bit and take a long time. There's an easier way to do that, and that would be to drill a pilot hole. But to center your pilot hole, you can take your 3 8 bit and just drill real quick, just enough to make a little mark. And what that does is it puts a divot in the thick steel that's perfectly centered in the 3 8 hole from the float guard. So now we can come back with a small bit and drill a pilot hole, no problem. All right, so we are done. We got our four bolts in and this thing is plenty stout. Um, for those of you that don't know, the reason that we want to put this on here is we got this pipe coming out of the ground, feeding the water trough. Now, for whatever reason, a cow will see this elbow here and want to rub her chin on it and push on it, and what will end up happening is she'll break the pipe. So, the reason we put these cages on there is so she's got something nice to rub on if she wants to rub, and she will not harm that pipe one bit. Well, it's getting dark out here, so we better call it a night. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. Until next time, we'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.